This is the grade eight math practice test for T and ready. Question number 11 on this version. Carrie plays a certain number of notes in a set amount of time on the piano. She rests for a period of time, then plays fewer notes in the same amount of time it took her to play the first set of notes. Which graph can be used to represent this situation? This is all about just relative change. So the first thing she does is she plays a certain amount of notes in a set amount of time, rests, then fewer notes in that same amount of time. So we're looking for there being essentially a dead period because she rests. Time will continue to go whether she plays or not. That's the key thing you have to look at here. When we look at the each of the graphs, you have some element of time here on the bottom. So this is just time passing. And this is the amount of notes. For instance, let's say right to here versus here. The amount of time is the same, relatively speaking. She gets a lot more notes in at that time, which means she's playing faster, as opposed to here, where it only goes up to like this area. This one's a lot higher up. So what you're looking at is she plays some notes, she plays a nothing time, and then she plays less notes. So in the beginning, you're looking for something probably that's a bit more steep. It doesn't have to be ridiculously steep, but relatively speaking and then flat during the rests. And then if she does fewer notes, which means it would go up less here, um, you're looking for it to be a, a little bit more gradual. So in the first case, we have a reasonable candidate. The problem is she she's doing pretty well there, and then it's flat, and then it goes up again. That's a really likely pick for people to choose because it has the play, rest, play component to it. The problem is the slant here is pretty close and it may actually be sharper here. This would indicate that she's playing more notes during this period than here or the same, depending on it, it looks a little steeper to me. So this is probably not it. C doesn't work because there's no rest period. She plays and then it's actually steeper, so she's playing more notes here and she doesn't have any rest, so this is out. Um, for this one, she does play fewer notes, so that's good. But again, no rest. That's out. And then over here, she's playing. She rests. Perfect. And then the amount that she does, it goes up slower. So it's a gradual increase. So she does have fewer notes. So this checks all the boxes. So the answer to number 11 is B. When you see these types of questions, take quickly look at how the legend does things and then also apply real life reality. This is measuring time, whether she's playing notes or not. So if she's at a certain amount, this is total notes being played. Um, you can assume that she's not, that the time continues. So it continues to move forward. It just doesn't go up or down. And also, this isn't a situation where it would ever go down. So if you saw one that went down, that would make no sense. Once you play the notes, you can't take them back. They've been played. So there you go.